All right, uh, Evan, uh, seventh Evan. I don't know what I should call you. <laughs> um, That's fine, man. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I I started uh, watching your your channel. It's been about a year now, I guess. Uh, and what I noticed about you was how enthusiastic you were to get out there, have a good time, catch fish, throw down, just you by yourself most of the time. And it, it seems like you've got an audience of thousands of people. And when I watch your videos, it just makes me feel good. So I say all of that to thank you for coming on and talking to me about your story. Yeah, man, I'm glad to be here. Um, I love fishing, man. That's like, that's all I do in my off time. So it's, if I'm not working, that's, that's where I am. <laughs> and, and that leads me into how, what about saltwater fishing drew you in immediately? Well, man, honestly, lots of parts of it. Like I love the part of like being in nature with it. Um, I love just like, I, I didn't even know, like when I first started fishing that you could target like different species. And then like I did some research and I was like, well, like you can catch sheep's head this way, but you can catch reds this way. And like, you can catch fish year round if like you do it right. Uh, cause like there's like seasons with like the different species, you know, like what's like most productive and, um, yeah, just like my buddy took me out, uh, one day and I caught like a small blue fish and, <laughs> and just like little pinfish. But I was like, this is awesome, man. Like, why, why am I, why haven't I done this my whole life? You know? Cause like I grew up here and, uh, I'm just like, man, I'm like late to the game. I should have like <laughs> done this way sooner. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's, that's similar to my story. I, uh, I grew up on like brackish water, so we really, we didn't have redfish and flounder trout, you know, maybe, maybe one summer out of every six or seven years, it would be really dry and the water would salt up, but I didn't grow up doing it either. Yeah. And, uh, I, it's very similar with me. I, I always love to hunt and that's kind of what it turned into. Saltwater fishing is more like hunting in my opinion because you're using your tides yeah. and your structure and the current. And there's just so much more to it. I feel like than growing up catching white perch on the Albemarle sound. So I, I can relate to yeah. that. I can relate to that. Um, if it, anyone who is not following your channel, you should, I'm going to link it below. Uh, and make sure you Thanks, guys man. go subscribe, subscribe to the channel for sure. But, uh, what, what about the kayak drew you in? Oh man, I just love the, uh, the freedom of it, man. I love the idea of just throwing it on top of your car and being able to launch like so many places. Like there's so many places around, uh, topsail specifically too. You can kayak fish and, uh, you know, I like the fact that you don't have to have a trailer. Uh, a lot of the times you can like avoid like boat traffic, which is pretty cool. <laughs> there's usually, usually like a little, like sandy like beach spot in like some of the launch areas where like you can kind of like sneak past like the ramp and like the boaters um love that i love like not having to maintain a motor and just like the mechanical aspect of it um i love that like you still get like physical activity in uh you know um i love like when you do catch a big fish like it's tugging you around on the kayak uh, whereas like, you know, if you're in like a bigger boat, like probably not, <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, I think, um, it was like the cheaper option for me just cause like, I mean, like my parents had a boat, but I still prefer the kayak. Uh, it's just, I don't know, man, something about it. <laughs> yeah. I can't fully explain it to you, but it's just, uh, it's definitely my, uh, primary way of fishing. Like. I'd much rather take the kayak for tons of species uh, of fish versus like the boat. Like I'd rather take the kayak for like redfish, sheep's head, black drum. Um, and I'm sure there's like a few more, but yeah. And like flounder is like one of the few that I would take like the boat instead. But <laughs> yeah, most of the time I prefer the kayak though. Why do you think that uh, it's easier with a boat for flounder? Um, just because like they don't spook as easily and like, uh, like in a kayak, like, I mean, like I'm sure like tons of guys like feel the same way, but you can sneak up on redfish, uh, pretty easily in a kayak. Um, 
if you know how to do it right. Um, but yeah, also just like, I don't know, you can go super skinny with kayaks and you, you can too with like certain boats, but, uh, yeah, man, I, I don't know. I don't know how to fully describe it to you. That's like the best answer I can give you is. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, it seems like it's because you're more like one with the environment. Yeah. Whereas like you're yeah, naturally it's, it's flowing. Like, yeah. You're flowing. Uh, you get to hear like all the noises. Whereas like, you know, a boat, like you kind of like hear like the trolling motor or like every little like creek and or whatever that's going on in the boat, <laughs> a kayak. Um, yeah. It's kind of like you're just floating on top of the water sometimes and you're just kind of waiting for something to happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is it, based on what I'm hearing, it, it sounds to me that your favorite type of fishing would be chasing reds in the shallows. Is that accurate? Oh yeah. For sure. Yeah, for sure, man. That is definitely my favorite. Um, yeah, specifically at low tide too, because, uh, I mean, you can see them <laughs> and, uh, there's not many places for them to hide, uh, you know, if you get on them. Um, but yeah, that's definitely my favorite way to fish is just throwing, uh, paddle tails, Z man specifically. Yeah. Z man, Z man's my favorite, uh, to reds just way back in the creeks. Yeah. It's, I feel like, uh, sheep's head, I feel like the easiest way to catch sheep's head actually is from a kayak, from a, a pedal drive kayak. Cause I've done it pretty much every way I've done it, you know, from docks, which is weird because like, I'm not used to having like the rod tip, like down so much. And then like the bite like feels different. Like I can't like describe it to you, but, um, and like from a boat, like that's, it's already like kind of scary sometimes. Cause like, if the trolling motor, like, you know, like gives out or whatever, you could like crash into a piling or like crash into another boat or it's, it's a little scary. So, uh, I prefer like the mechanical aspect of it, of, uh, doing it from a kayak. Cause you can like position yourself super well with a kayak. Um, yeah. <laughs> also, you don't have the risk of knocking a hole in a $30,000 boat because you can bump in yeah. with the plastic <laughs> and everything. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and I, <laughs> Honestly, man, like I've got an old Hobie, like I've got like a 2010 Hobie. I love it to death. Like I'll like, you know, I'll use it until like I can't anymore. Uh, but yeah, I've kind of beat it up and I'm like, dang, man, I'm surprised like this hasn't like cracked from like that, <laughs> that sheep's head trip or like something from like banging into a piling. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's a little scary. <laughs> yeah. You mentioned earlier that you, uh, so, so I've been learning how to sheep's head fish too. I, um, it's, it's one that I have not, I mean, I don't claim to be a master. I'm, I understand enough to do it, but I've struggled with the boat and it's a lot of what you're talking about is you're trying to get close yeah. enough yet, not too close. You're trying to ride the current right. and get just, just within reach. And yeah, it's hard to, to position yourself just right. Cause then like the trolling motor has to adjust. And then like when it does, like if you're like too close, like you can scare the fish, uh, but yeah, it's tough, man. It is really tough. You uh, um, you mentioned the like the bite being different. Uh, what what is different about the bite? I don't know. It feels like a lighter tap to me. I don't know how to describe it to you. Just like because like when I'm in my kayak, like I keep my rod like kind of like level with like my shoulder almost, and then uh like I can like kind of see the rod tip like go down. And, uh, it's just like easier for me to set the hook for some reason. Um, I think like, again, that's just cause like you can, you can position yourself like perfectly sometimes from a kayak. Um, and like, I, I used to not do it so well. Like I used to back in the day, like last, last summer when I was like first, like getting into sheep's head fishing, I would do this thing where like, I would drop my, my jig and crab would not put my <laughs> I would not put my kayak in reverse and then so I would like set the hook and then like there'd be a fish on and then like I'd go to like like pull the reverse lever on my hobie but like by that time it's like too late and they like break me off the piling <laughs> so what I do now is like I'll drop the crab in the jig and then like immediately put it in reverse and then I'll like close the bail and then I'll set the hook Okay. So like then all then all I have to do is like pedal backwards and then like fight the fish, you know. But um yeah, it's been a learning experience. 
Well, that but, sounds like the only way you would ever know any of that is by doing it and, and making mistakes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tons of mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's half of fishing is just let's let's take this idea and run with it and deviate as we need to. Yeah. That's, that's kind of how I started, man. I was like, I know I'm going to screw up a lot, but let's just do it. <laughs> that was kind of my attitude from the start. Yeah. Did you, did you start filming right out the gate? No, I, I started kayak fishing, uh, like that first year I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, so I started fishing, like just fishing in general, uh, summer of 2019, I believe it was like May or June. And then, uh, I got my first rod and reel and then I got the kayak, but like that first year, like I, I did not know what I was doing at all. And then, um, the, the next summer is like when I really started to pick up on everything, I was like, okay, like I kind of know how to like catch reds. Now I kind of understand flounder a little bit more, um, starting to get sheep's head and, you know, just like all like the inshore species I started to pick up on. Um, yeah. And then it just like, I don't know, it just progressed from there. But the first year was just like, mistake after mistake like i was like targeting sheep's head in like the winter time like at like the jetty uh you know and um i didn't even have my hobie then i had uh I, so get this i used to take for anybody who's listening don't do this i used to take um a paddle kayak it was a lifetime tamarack to the jetty at riceville beach and uh oh my gosh man i <laughs> i was a lunatic for trying that and it worked. I caught some fish, but I was, I realized now I was like, God, that was so dumb. Like that was so stupid of me. Cause, um, I didn't even take like tides into like consideration. I didn't take like, I took like wind and rain, but not like, you know, not like everything that I should have like for mm -hmm. like a trip like that. Um, but yeah, that, that first year it was totally humbling. And, uh, I learned a lot from all all those mistakes. <laughs> I bet you appreciated that transition to that pedal kayak from the lifetime. Oh yeah, man, that uh, wor world of difference. Like I can cover at least like three times the distance and um, a lot faster too. Um, you know, using your leg muscles is way more efficient than using your your arms and your shoulders and you know your wrists and all that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So. Yeah, you mentioned uh, fishing the jetty, and I think the first video I saw of yours was when you were tournament fishing, and you, uh, you, oh, yeah. you actually like went and fished the jetty and like won the whole thing, right? Oh, I didn't win. I got I got third place, and um, it was close. I uh, it, yeah, it was like a twenty six and a half inch red, and it was like seven point I think like one four pounds or something like that, but um. But yeah, I got third <laughs> and, um, uh, uh, Gary from Fisherman's Post, it, he was, he thought it was hilarious, man. He was, he was all about it. I, I remember that. Oh my gosh. That was so funny. <laughs> he was like, and here's the kayak guy that got third place. <laughs> <laughs> you, you made a lot of really boaters funny. mad that day. <laughs> I, I know I was about to say, I was like, man, I probably like pissed some people off. <laughs> like they're like. 30, like $40,000 flats boats are probably like, man, like kayak guy, <laughs> like what in the world? Oh, uh, it happens. Uh, it, well, the, the part of that video that stood out to me was like, you took your proceeds and donated it, donated it to a, a friend that had some health issues yeah. going on. Yeah. So the, the story behind that was, uh, two days before the tournament. Uh, that's, so that's my best friend, Ian's girlfriend. And, uh, she got diagnosed with lymphoma before that. And I was talking to Ian and I was like, Hey man, like, do you think I should try this? Like, do you think I stand a chance? And he was like, yeah, like you've been catching reds like a lot lately. Like, I think you've got a pretty good chance, man. And I signed up and I was like, you know what? I'll do it. And, uh, but like, if I end up placing it all, like, I'm just going to give the money to you guys. Cause like, you've definitely needed a lot more. Um, they're, they're going through a really hard time. And, uh, that was like my, it's, that was like my contribution was uh using that skill that i've learned for a better cause and uh i mean you can say what you want about it but 
I definitely don't think, I mean, I, I definitely think that there's something helping me that day. If, you know, anybody believes or anything like that. Um, I do. Cause it was like a half hour into fishing, uh, that morning and, uh, hooked up and like right away it was like <laughs> third place red. And I was like, come on, man. Like that can't just be coincidence. Like, like, come on, <laughs> there's no way. That's just like, I definitely had, you know, the big G helping me yeah. out, man. Did you, did um, you, had you decided ahead of time that you were going to donate the money or were you just like, I, I'll donate it now that I want it? I, I decided ahead of time. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great, that's great. Yeah. Man. That's so cool. There wasn't, yeah, there wasn't like anything I like really wanted to buy. Uh, like at the time, like I'm like content with like my fishing stuff and like what I have. Um, like, I don't really care to get like a new fancy kayak anytime soon until like my Hobie, you know, is like literally unfishable and there's just like a bunch of cracks, like all up in it and it just like can't be fixed anymore. Um, but yeah, that's, so that was like, I was like, you know what? Like, I don't really, I don't really need the money. Like just give it to my best friends that do. So that's what turned me on to you and just taking that in and then watching the, just the enjoyment and excitement that you get when you do catch fish. I don't know. It just, it paints, yeah. uh, paints a, a picture of somebody that really enjoys the outdoors for what it is and not to gain anything from it. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. Joy is the only thing I do gain from it. It's just like, cause like when I'm inside, I'm thinking about being outside in the marsh. Like when it's a rainy day, I'm just like, oh, man, like <laughs> when's the next time I'm going to get to go out. And, uh, like I just had like a procedure done like a couple days ago. I've got like a health problem. I think you know, but uh, I gotta wait. Like I'm supposed to wait like two weeks to go back out, and I'm just like, can I really wait two weeks? Like that's like a long time, man. Like I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's, so that that procedure, uh, I saw your Instagram post, and uh, I was wondering, like, how has having health issues affected you and your drive to get out there and get on the water and, and create content for people. How has that cre created the person that you are? Yeah. So, well, so funny story. Um, let's, I guess let's backtrack to 2016. This was when I was a 20 year old kid that, uh, when I, I thought I was invincible and, uh, I had a, a bit of a health, uh, I guess wake up call. And, uh, yeah, one night I went into cardiac arrest, man. And, uh, my heart stopped beating and I was in the hospital for like 10 days. They did a bunch of tests and, uh, they're like, you got this heart condition. And, uh, my thing at the time was like working out and like doing like active stuff, uh, like high adrenaline stuff where, you know, like high intensity, like exercises, like that was my thing. And, um, yeah, it was, it was hard. At, Cause at first, like the, those first few years, I was like, man, like, what am I going to do? Like life is just like boring now. And, uh, I didn't like have like a passion. And, uh, that's actually how I got into fishing, man, was, uh, my buddy Tyler, he, um, he took me and my other friend, Ian, uh, the Hannah's boyfriend, the, the girl who has, or had cancer. Um, yeah, he took us fishing and like, I was just like addicted after that, like one day. And I was like, I got to keep doing this, man. There's like more to this. This isn't just like, this isn't just like a few seconds of joy. This is like joy, like all day, you know, um, from like the second you get out there to like the second you come back in. Um, but yeah, that's, and like that, that was kind of a, a big like transition for me. Cause that was like me, like, being a 20 year old kid thinking that like, you know, nothing could bring me down to like being super humbled and like life is short. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, yeah, that's, that's how I got into it, man. That's how I got into kayak fishing. Cause it's like, uh, I, I figured it's the perfect thing for me. Cause like, I love being in nature and I love like, like exercising. It's still exercising, but it's like low intensity stuff. I'm not like getting my heart rate up like super high. Um, unless like you, you have like a crazy day where like you're fighting current and, you know, wind and all that, but I've been a lot better about that <laughs> recently. 
the past like you know like year and a half <laughs> realistically but uh yeah that's that's how i got into it so you you had to stop doing the high uh intensity workouts because you didn't want to overdo your heart i'm just i'm trying to understand yeah yeah sorry i guess i didn't explain that too well yeah it's so the condition is called arvc and um it's like so there's like the left and right atrium in the heart, and then there's like the left and right ventricle. So ARVC has to do with the right ventricle of the heart. And uh, basically like it's, if your heart rate gets like too high, you could have what's called an arrhythmia, which is a, like an abnormal heartbeat, and you can go into cardiac arrest potentially. Um, and so like, it's potentially dangerous for me to get my heart rate like to a certain level. Uh, yeah but I'm like taking medicine and stuff now for it and it's doing its job. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> hopefully I explained that well enough. No, no you but, did. Uh, you did. I, I, uh, I didn't know how it related to everyday life. So that makes a lot of sense that you still need to do things to be active because you want to keep your body up. But at the same time, you got to be cautious about what you do because of the risk that's involved. So, yeah, it's it's really tricky, man, because like people are people a lot of the time are like, so well, you can still work out, right? And I'm like, kind of. <laughs> and they're like, well, what what can you do and what can you not do? And I'm like, I can't even tell you that because like doctors, it's like a fairly new uh, disease that like doctors are trying to figure out. And so I'm like, I can't even I can't give you like specifics, honestly. All I can tell you is that I can do like low intensity, like aerobic exercises, but I can't do like, you know, anything like too strenuous. <laughs> well, honestly, man, it sounds like, uh, God may have a, a part in that too, because he put you in a kayak yeah. after that. And I, I mean, a kayak is great exercise. Yeah. It's perfect, man. It's perfect for me. Well, uh, what, what, what is next for you with the, the filming and, trying to grow and, and becoming a better fisherman. Like what are your, what are your goals here in the future? Yeah, I definitely want to, um, take a lot more trips and, uh, get on some, uh, more quality fish. Uh, like I've been, I've been going to like the noose river, like a few times I've gone, like I've been twice in the kayak this year. No luck yet. Um, I went with Steve. I think, you know, Steve, um, I saw the picture the other day. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. He, he caught two. And I didn't catch any, but, um, he caught, yeah, like those like 40 plus inch reds. Um, so I'll be sure to go back probably the next weekend and try again. Um, yeah. And I definitely, I'm definitely gonna, I have been in the ocean. Um, I like to ocean fish when it's, you know, conditions are right. I like to go to Yopon reef at Oak Island and topsail sometimes. Uh, yeah, man. <laughs> And I, I want to go to like the Chesapeake Bay. Like I want to go to Florida. I want to go to like all these places and just uh, explore, man. Cause that's like my favorite thing is just exploring, um, trying new spots, you mm -hmm. know? And, and with you saying that, does that mean that a majority of your fishing is picking a spot on the map and trying to get to it with a kayak? Yeah. Like sometimes I'll go to like the same spots, but I, that's like my favorite thing is just to go to like a new area I've never been and uh, fi kind of figure it out, I guess, <laughs> like on the way. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fun, man. Especially when you, I don't know, when you pick a new spot and go, a lot of times it's, it takes a few times to learn the area before you catch fish. But if you can yeah. hit a few that you know on the way and you can knock out a few, then you're like, all right, I've, I've kind of got like that that behind me yeah. so now i can afford to explore a little more yeah exactly <laughs> well yeah. man uh i've appreciated having this conversation with you i uh, i'm a big fan i want everyone to go subscribe to your channel i'm linking everything below and uh Thanks, it, man. yeah man if if uh if i can ever do anything for you i'm happy to do it i think you're a good dude and, and i enjoy your videos so keep making them it gives me inspiration to keep pushing so uh I can't thank you enough. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me on. I, I love the little community of uh, YouTubers we have in Wilmington now. Uh, you and Lex and Elias and, you know, a couple other, a couple other guys sprout through North Carolina. And 
it's it's great man yeah i feel like we we've all kind of like become friends and you know met yeah. a lot of cool people along the way and it's it's great that's that's probably like one of the best parts about it so far for me it's just meeting a bunch of people well i guarantee you keep filming you're going to be meeting people every time you go to a taco shop i'm sure it's already happening <laughs> it's it, I think it's happened once at a tackle shop. It happened at uh, Lowe's Home Improvement the other day. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, and that was really weird. He was like, "Hey man, do you make kayak fishing videos by any chance?" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> how do you know that? <laughs> I was like really thrown <laughs> off. <laughs> yeah, that's a uh, that's the side effect of it, but uh, I I think it's fun, man. It just I don't know. You you connecting with people and and they clearly enjoy your stuff since they're watching. So, yeah, man, just just keep I, on slinging that rod. I will. That's all I do, man. That's all I do in my <laughs> off time. <laughs> well, uh, well, thank you again, man. Uh, we're gonna have to get on and and talk specifics about something uh, topic related next time. But uh, it was a pleasure to have you on, and I can't thank you enough. Yeah, man. Thanks so much for having me. Glad to talk about fishing, man.